Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI. Welcome to this video on creating dialogue tasks using the Core platform. Here, we will take a look at how to create a simple conversational dialogue task that allows users to check their order status. For this, I'm using a shopping virtual assistant which already has a few use cases built in. We will now add the ability for the virtual assistant to check the current status of a user's order. To do this, we need to first navigate to dialogue tasks within conversational skills on the left menu, and then click on create dialogue on the top right corner. We give the dialogue task a name and make sure to select the option at the bottom for trying conversation dialogue printer. This option takes the no code aspect of the platform a step further and allows developing use cases by simply typing a sample conversation into this conversation builder window. Let's get started with that. Every conversational dialogue starts with the user intent. In this case, as we can see, the conversation builder already has the order status intent populated. What we can do next is create a mock conversation that follows intent identification. I want this assistant to first acknowledge the, requ the request that was received. That can be done by configuring a bot response and informing the user about it. Next, we do actually want some more information from the user. Here we can ask a question to the user and the question is, please enter your order ID. And for this question, the entity type can be a number. Press enter. Note that as we keep typing out more steps in this conversation, you can on the right hand side, see that the nodes in the dialogue task are being created automatically by the platform. There's also a synchronization between this conversation builder and the nodes after getting created automatically. So any changes on either side will be reflected in the other side as well. For example, if I were to open the properties for this entity node and change the question prompt to, please enter your four digit order ID. It immediately and automatically gets updated in the conversation builder window as well. Now I can proceed with the conversation and here the user would provide their order ID. So let us put in a sample response, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 will do for now. Now, ideally at this point, we would need to connect a bot action with a service node that connects to a backend system API and pulls the order status for whatever order ID is provided by the user. However, API integrations are the subject of another video. So if you wanna learn about that, please be sure to check out that video as well. For the purpose of this video, we will simply add an empty bot action as a placeholder. We'll assume this bot action contains a service node integrating with an API and fetching order details and a script node that parses the full response, extracts the most relevant fields and stores them in local context variables with slightly easier to read names. So with that assumption, we move forward to the last step of this dialogue, providing the final response to the user in an easy to read format. At this point, there are a few different possibilities of what we can expect to receive from the API itself. And each of those require a different type of response back to the user. The first possibility is that the service is down or there is some other unexpected connection error. The second possibility is that the API is working fine, but the order ID provided by the user does not exist in the database. The third option is the happy path where the API works as expected and returns all the details of the order ID provided by the user. Let us see how we can um, set up these types of branches in a conversational dialogue. We start with the first case as usual. We can simply continue typing the conversation in the designer window. In this case, we have the bot informing the user that there was an error encountered from the backend system and asks them to retry after some time. Once this is done, we can create branches by bringing the mouse up to this response bubble in the designer and clicking on this plus icon inside a square to add an alternative path. And now we can simply type the bot's response for when the order is not found in the records. Similarly, we now add a third alternate path. 
And in this case, we simply want the virtual assistant to confirm the status of the order as retrieved from the API call from the backend system. All that remains now is to actually define the conditions when each of these branches need to be executed. To do that, we click on the bot action node on the builder and then toggle to the connections tab on the property sheet. Within the connections tab, you can see that there are already connection rules and if conditions built in for each of the branches, and we only need to configure the name of the context variable and the value that we need to look for while sending the conversation into each of these parts. As an example, for the first part, we can check if the context variable called context.apiError equals true. As a reminder, we are assuming that this variable name is defined and populated inside the placeholder bot action node above. Similarly, we add logic for the other two branches as well. And that's it. At this point, the configuration of the dialogue task is completed. We've completed building a new use case within this virtual assistant that would allow users to check their order status. In the next video, we will take a look at how to actually uh, do the API integration using a valid Shopify API. So please be sure to check that one out as well. Thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye.